the first time that I was able to have success leaving the babies with their parents. It looks like a success to me. I just fed on baby Brian Crimp. Little piece of driftwood. Uh, eBay. <laughs> it's a fake plant. I'm moving toward real plants, but I got fake ones. My question is, how long do you leave them with their parents, or how long before you remove the babies, or before you remove the parents? In this case, I'm thinking I might put the parents in a different tank. and then let the babies grow up in this one. These are the babies that I've been moving to the 55 gallon tank. And I moved 127 so far. And there's still this many in here. This is where I put my long nose placos down here. Or not long nose, no. long fin. Long fin no. placos. No. Oh no, I probably got six no. or eight of them down there. No. Got that big piece of driftwood for them to uh, enjoy. And those, uh, chunks of PVC pipes I put in there for them to enjoy those too. Another fake plant. Got this driftwood after I started selling the fish. Then I figured I could afford to buy a nice piece of driftwood. And I got these uh, sponges I put over my uh, intakes. And then I got those sponge there. It was pretty much the same setup in every tank. A fake plant. Driftwood. Back filter sponge. So I was thinking after I finished moving these babies down below that I'll either move the baby fishes to this tank or I'll move the parents one of them's a 20 gallon and one of them's a 30 gallon I just think it'd be easier to move the parents don't know but uh, if you watched it this far, thank you for watching. Uh, but like, comment, share. <laughs> Have a great day.